Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to Lifestyle Manifesting. I'm Shannon, and on my channel, I'm discussing manifesting as a lifestyle. Be a deliberate designer and architect of your life. Create the reality that you want. Today, let's just talk about manifesting your specific person. I want to remind you that everything in your world is a reflection of you. It's a projection coming from you. The world is a projection your specific person and the way they interact with you has everything to do with you and your perception. Your perception of them is what's happening and what's your experience in your world. And the reason why you don't have your specific person in your life, if they're not currently in your life, it has everything to do with you. It has everything to do with your thoughts, beliefs, assumptions. Your thoughts, beliefs, and your assumptions are creating your reality. Not just that. It's the sum total of your imagination. Some of the beliefs we hold are subconscious beliefs that we're not aware of. We're not aware of the some beliefs that we hold. So to, in order to manifest your specific person into your life, you take conscious control and direct your life the way you want it to be. No matter what the desire is, whether it's a specific person or any desire, it is the same. You're going to do use the same techniques or you're going to use the same process. Not necessarily a technique, it's just the same process. It's the process of your thoughts and in your beliefs, in your thought process, in your perception. Number one, what you see in reality Currently, what you're currently experiencing in reality, it's just your past thoughts and beliefs. It's just old ideas that you had. It's ideas that you had that you didn't even necessarily choose. So to manifest your specific person into your life, you need to start deliberately choosing your thoughts. Deliberately choose the thoughts that you that say that you say to yourself, I am chosen. I am in this relationship. That person is in love with me. I know that person is mine. I know my person is mine. My specific person is in love with me. It's, it's, it's all about repetition and persistence. You need to repeat in your head. It's really only a matter of convincing yourself of this reality until it manifests. So, so that's why you affirm and you consistently affirm and you persist in those affirmations until your reality reflects what you've been affirming. Because your current reality is already reflecting what you've been affirming in your mind. You just didn't do it in intentionally. You've been affirming for your whole life. We'll just say affirmations are thoughts and beliefs that you hold. So replace the old thoughts and beliefs with new ones. Why do I recommend and suggest to work on self-concept? And my definition of self-concept is you having your desire. It's not just you who feels confident. It's you having your desire. You being the version of you who knows that you're a master manifester. That you're the god of your the real uh, uh, you're the god of your reality, that you're the creator. That's my definition of self-concept. Self-concept is you having your desire, not just thinking I'm beautiful and I'm I'm looking good and I'm I'm confident and I'm secure. It's no, it's you are the creator. Your self-concept. Be the self-concept of the version of you who knows you're the creator. You're the creator. Now affirm, you, not only are you the creator, you could, you could speak, you are speaking your life into existence already. Speak your life into existence from, from how you identify yourself. Are you identifying yourself as someone who has that desire or someone who doesn't have it? Okay. You could also look at it as the story you're telling. We're manifesting by the story we tell, the stories we tell, the, the affirmations, the thoughts, beliefs that we're saying. So that's why you're affirming intentional things, ideas. You're, you're affirming intentional ideas so that you replace the old thoughts and beliefs to create new ones. Create new beliefs that you're powerful. Create new beliefs that you're in the right place at the right time. Create new beliefs that say you're loved, you're whole, you're perfect. You're already a goddess. You're the god. You are a god. You're a king. You're a queen, <laughs> a princess, queen. Okay, you're someone who gets everything you want. You're someone who is magnetic, and all your desires are magnetically connected to you. 
I mean, it's coming from you, but we're, we could paint a picture of, of reality, what we see in the 3D. So, so create that. Create, create and affirm the story you want and disregard what you see and just don't choose that anymore. Don't choose it anymore by changing your focus. If there's a third party, stop focusing on the third party. Instead, focus on you. Choose you and focus on you. Hi, everyone. So we made some new merch and I have this, I know it's backwards because I can't figure out yet how to flip a live. Um, but because, it, you know, to make it inverted, it says I've got lucky girl syndrome. So these are kind of fun. I have the link in my bio if you want to get a coffee cup that says like wake up every day and making your tea or your coffee or even if it's water and just think like you have lucky girl syndrome. And you don't have to be a girl to have lucky girl sy syndrome. Okay, I'm going to answer questions. Um, I've been manifesting my SP and it's going great. Now conversations seem slower. Okay, remember, this is how you get hot and cold behavior because you're like, yeah, it's working. Conversation is going great. But then something happened and it started moving slower. But you paid to, uh, you're paying attention to it moving s slower. And then you might even start to have thoughts like, what am I doing wrong that it's slower? Or, or what are they thinking? Or do they like me anymore, right? Like you might have thoughts based on why the conversation's moving slower. And the reason it's moving slower is why you, because you keep paying attention to that or you keep focusing on that. So instead of focusing on the conversation being slower, see an intention, okay? You're gonna see, oh, it's slower, right? You probably would be even frustrated, like what's going on? And I want you to catch it, like have a light bulb moment, okay? Light bulb moment, okay? It's slower, no, wait a minute, what do you want? I intend, I intend this conversation is like not faster, <laughs> right? I intend it's consistent communication. I intend our conversations are amazing. I intend we have this deep connection and it just feels like we've known each other forever. Um, so you want to affirm what you do want instead of what you don't want. If you're focused on that it seems slower, it will just stay there. It will just seem like it's slower or it's slower to respond. If he's slower to respond or she's slower to respond, then you have to say, I intend that I hear from them immediately. They're, I'm always on their mind. You are always on their mind. Living in the end of a relationship, you're always on their mind. Okay, so think about it that way. It's not like they're far away and, and you think about them and that you're on their mind, but it's like you they are yours, right? I mean, you know, in a relationship, it's like you're mine. Be mine, like the Valentines, right? They're yours. I mean, they are yours because it's coming from your imagination. But so picture they're yours. They're, you're together. It's already the end of being in a relationship. They have, they are thinking about you all the time and you're thinking about them all the time. And you're wishing the best for each other or you're, you're um, feeling good thinking about each other, right? So it's the story you're telling. Ultimately, it's all about the story you tell in your, like, what's the dominant story you're telling? Are you dominantly saying, I don't have my desire, this, I don't know what's going on? Or are you saying, I am the operant power and this, this relationship is mine or this relationship is done? They are madly in love with me, right? Are, are, is that what you're saying? Which one are you saying? Are you focused on the story that's happening in the 3D that you don't want? Or are you focused on your affirmations and that vision and the goal and objective of that reality you want to experience? So you have to shift your focus even though it feels so real and it's right in your face. You do not give value to it or you don't, it's not about not giving value, it's just like you're not giving it attention and your focus and you're not thinking it's so important. You're just, you're just choosing to focus on something different that you want to experience. Okay, um, Blue Hydrangea, how to change our beliefs. You change your beliefs by using affirmations. You change your beliefs by replacing the old beliefs because your beliefs are only thoughts that you're thinking. And beliefs aren't even true. Beliefs are not, not even true. They're just true to you because you believe them, but you could change your belief by replacing it with the affirmation. So if you feel like you're unwanted from your specific person, 
that's your belief. Your reality is reflecting that. Your reality is reflecting that, you know, they don't want you. So to change that belief, then you're going to affirm, I am wanted. I am wanted by that specific person. I am wanted by people in my world. Okay, and then you can affirm, you can kind of rampage on that if you want. I am wanted because I'm a great person and I'm amazing. And I'm the God of my reality and I create a reality where I am wanted and desired and I'm loved and I'm secure. Okay, so you're going to replace your thoughts with the new thoughts that you do want, with the experiences that you do want. SP broke up with me because he said he didn't feel the same about me as before. What can I do? No facts are final. Here's how you change that story or that belief. Okay, they broke up with you. Do you understand you're the operant power? I know I see you here. You understand you're the operant power. So let's test this today. Start saying what you want him to say to yourself. Instead of think, instead of reminiscing in your mind about, he didn't feel the same about me. Instead of reminiscing on that, start affirming what you do want. He's never met anyone like me. That's what you affirm. He's never met anyone like me. He is consistently calling me. He is adoring me. That's what you do. You affirm and you say what you do want consistently. I know the world might still show you opposite, but you have to consistently affirm what you want until it manifests. So do that now and it can manifest very quickly. Do you understand also like it's it, we're telling stories. I mean, you're already telling a story in your mind about your own life. You're already telling a story. It's in a way it's a story, right? You're telling a story based on what you see and what you perceive. But even if someone saw the two people see the same thing, they both perceive it differently. Someone can per perceive something as positive and someone can perceive something as negative. Whatever your perception is, is really what your experience ends up being. So tell the story, just start telling the story. Like the story could even be, you know what, this breakup was okay because it's making you realize some things deeper that you needed to figure out within, that you're the operant power, that you're the creator, that you can manifest things back quickly. And also your SP is also going through some personal growth and growth and development and has gotten really clear that they know it's you. So, so you could tell that kind of story instead of making assumptions about who's he out with now? Is he, did he meet someone else? Is there someone else? Okay. So that's an assumption too. That's an assumption. And when you're, when you're dominantly feeling that assumption that what if he's with someone else, you're, what do you think you're going to create? Because you're the creator in your reality. So you tell the story. It might not feel natural at first, but as you get a hang of manifesting deliberate creation, it will feel completely natural that you know you're the cause and the world is the effect. And that you go into your imagination and you think how you want things to be. Yeah, so I thought about this. The idea of free will then disappears. Uh, here's what I know. Everything in my reality is a reflection of me. Everything in your reality is a reflection of you. Just keep testing it out. Test it out. What do you do when negative thoughts start crawling when you're manifesting? Just replace them. Okay, I mean, here's, here's the thing. Negative thoughts, and you could first observe them, right? You could observe your positive thoughts, observe your negative thoughts. You could decide you're not choosing that negative thought. Okay, so you are the operant power, which means you could create, there's only the present moment. Only the present moment exists, right? So you can recreate anything in the present moment. If in the present moment you change your direction of your thoughts, or you just observe and you don't judge them, you know, you lessen in the, any resistance and worry and doubt. So if you have a negative thought, it's okay. You tell yourself, it's okay, I had a negative thought. We don't want to be afraid of negative thoughts. We've always had negative thoughts. I mean, everything's existing. So I know I've had many negative thoughts about things. I've watched every horror movie as a kid, and I've never had any of those experiences. Sure, there are experiences in my reality. I see it, but not personally. I know that those, I don't uh, identify those thoughts as my experience. I just say I don't choose those. I don't choose that as a, my experience. And I know that in the present moment, I can recreate what I do want 
That's your power. Your power is in knowing that you could recreate any, anything in the present moment. That way you don't feel afraid of your negative thoughts. Don't be afraid of the thoughts. Don't be afraid of your thoughts. Just know everything exists and you're gonna keep helping yourself because you're um, in charge of your own destiny. You're, you're, no matter what, whether you do it consciously or unconsciously. Consciously is like you're choosing. You're, you're choosing your destiny. Now, if you don't choose it consciously, your destiny becomes whatever the randomness of reality that you adopt beliefs from other people. So choose, choose where it's like you're guiding your ship. You're guiding your life. I was listening to Dr. Joseph Murphy this morning, and he's always saying, like, you're the, you're the captain of the ship. Murphy, power of your subconscious mind. Well, I was listening to a lecture of his called um, The Master Key to Wealth. You know, and, and it's just, I love his voice and I love hearing him talk. And, and um, I do like that idea. It's like, you're the captain of the ship. You, the captain is just steering and directing where to go. So you don't have to overpower your reality. You just, it's like a, you're a God. So a God just like points and I'm, I'm going there and that's what I want and that's what I'm choosing. That's what I'm choosing. And I usually say that's what I want, but I'm not saying that's what I want, like I'm needing it. I'm saying that's what I want, like I just choose that. Oh, I like that, I'm choosing that. Okay, I have a negative thought, no big deal. I just replace it. I don't worry about it, I don't stress about it. I've had people in the past come to me really afraid of their negative thoughts. It's okay. It's okay. Now, replace them though. I mean, you do want to replace them, okay? But you don't want to fear them. Don't fear your thoughts. You're the creator. Okay, um, it's a lot more than this though. We need frequency, thought, feeling from achieved... Okay, I don't talk... In my... Um, sure, that's true. That's true in your reality. In my reality, I don't think I ever use the word frequency. I don't, it just, that doesn't resonate with me. It's not that it's wrong, it doesn't resonate with me. So frequency in my definition, if I were to de define frequency, frequency means thoughts and feelings to me. Do you understand that like the way that I'm teaching is not the one way, all, only way to, to teach manifesting. I'm teaching based on my own experience. And personally, it just doesn't resonate with me to talk about frequency because I feel like that concept doesn't just, it doesn't align with, with me and my teaching. So I discuss thought and feeling. I manifest with just thought alone. Thought alone. Affirmations alone. I just affirm things and they happen. Remember, everyone's creating reality in their own way based on how they perceive reality. So how you perceive reality is how you're creating reality. Not that there's a right or wrong. It's just a different way to do it. Okay, so there doesn't have to be a lot more to this. That's just my point. <laughs> okay, there might be other teachers or people teaching that. That's fine. I just simplify. I simplify things I affirm, things that I'm feeling. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. My skin's looking amazing. Okay. Those are things I affirm. <laughs> How do we focus on ourselves and stay in that state? How do you focus on yourself? Okay, so do you feel like you're, you can't stop thinking about someone not wanting to be with you? Or you can't stop thinking about the bills and the debt? And that's where your mind keeps going. Okay. All right, well, with, it doesn't matter what the desire is. Like with a specific person, instead of focusing on them, focus on yourself. No matter what, when you focus on yourself, you are, ma you are really a magnet for your reality, okay? You put your focus on yourself and imagine yourself being in the wish fulfilled, feeling happy, feeling fulfilled. Focus on yourself by persisting in it, by persisting and choosing, it's a choice. Do you know like wherever we put our attention is a choice? It is a choice. You break your habit and, and you just make a choice. And you could break a habit easily. I know I've had habits in the past. I just made a decision, I'm gonna break this habit. Okay, so it, it is a mental discipline. You focus on yourself with I am affirmations. Focus on yourself with meditations. In my playlist on YouTube, I have meditations. Um, I with I am affirmations like I am chosen. It's like focusing on yourself. Some of it's focusing on the story, like your specific person, because you're manifesting all of the story and and the story about yourself. Focus on yourself. 
I know you're saying how <laughs> because you're just gonna make a choice you're gonna make a decision you well you affirm if you affirm I'm going to focus on myself put an alert in your phone so you wake up in the morning and then you're in the morning you get an alert and says yep focus on yourself today you're you you've got this I believe in you and that's your note to yourself I believe in you you've got this you're getting everything you want focus on yourself today and then maybe you want to put that alert like three times in the morning afternoon and at night so you could kind of remind yourself at some point you'll remove it because you won't need to do you won't need to be reminded to focus on yourself okay so you could use those little things in in your life to help you i know that i even had the little um sticky notes or in three by five cards i wrote things on every time i had a thought or an affirmation i'd write it write it down stick it to my mirror stick it to my door stick it all over my house i had note cards everywhere i was like reminding myself how powerful i am i am unlimited i am powerful i am the operant power i am the god of my reality all of these notes i had everywhere i download information i am a, i am connected to infinite wisdom right so those were affirmations that I started with. And I created that reality deeply. Okay, I am beautiful. I'm getting everything I want. And as you just do that, it'll, it, now it's just a natural thing. I don't need to have note cards everywhere. It just became my reality. It became my new normal and natural. Lucky being. <laughs> we are all lucky beings. Oh, and uh, I got my lucky girl syndrome cup too, you guys, in my merch even though it's backwards on your end but i've got lucky girl syndrome and i love this cup it just feels really good that i'm sitting there and drinking a coffee in the morning or i'm doing my routine so uh, i like mint tea but i do drink a little bit of coffee too coffee i love i just don't drink it as much um but it, whether this morning i had coffee and i'm just sitting there looking at my mug thinking i have lucky girl syndrome okay so is that a creation it's a creation a belief creating a new belief creating a belief that i'm just i'm like that person that's like living life i'm just lucky i'm always getting upgraded things always work out for me it just goes in my favor the world is rigged in my favor like i just feel that way and i remind i do things to remind myself of that every day so if you need something to help you when you wake up in the morning and you make your tea or you make your coffee and you want to just think about that like remind yourself yep you know what i got lucky girl syndrome Okay, I mean, it's a creation. It's it's part of an identity, right? That's part of my identity that I created. I got lucky girl syndrome. All right, Yoshi, dream twice about SP each time he is with a different woman. It's very upsetting. That's okay. Guess what? You're just purging out an old story. Okay, you felt upset. You're purging out that old story. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. It's okay. It feels upsetting, but it's actually a good thing. This is a good thing. Okay, you dreamt about them with another woman. It's just because that was some old belief you held. Now, remind yourself that you're powerful. You're number one. You're the ultimate choice. You're the ultimate partner. You're gorgeous. You're radiating love from the inside out that your SP is attracted to. How can I manifest a rash that I had for years away? Brittany. Um, I have manifested many physical changes in my own body and other people's bodies, in my kids' bodies, in my mom's body, many things. With my mom just recently, she had a bad knee. She's going to be 80. My mom is going to be 80 in June. And she was just talking about how bad her knee is, and she's got to go up the stairs and down the stairs in her house. And uh, I just started affirming her knee's getting better. Her knee's getting better. And I was affirming that, right? Because we can affirm for other people that we're already doing that. We're already doing it, right? So assume for yourself. Affirm for yourself. By the way, let me finish my mom's story. I kept affirming it. One of her friends suggested she buy some sort of vitamins. I said, yes, mom, buy that, right? Because it's like a placebo, but she believed that would help too. So she's taking the vitamins. I'm affirming. I called her. She started complaining. She goes, oh, wait a minute. I remember that you said, she's telling me, she's remembering that I said, um, think positive about this. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. And she goes, and you know what? It started getting better. So it started getting better. And then it just kept getting better, better, better. And now she didn't do anything. She didn't go to the doctor. Okay. I'm just affirming it. She's affirming it. I taught her affirm it. It's going to get better. It's going to feel better. Now she's like, I don't even remember when it hurt. 
So with your rash, start affirming, even if you buy some, let's say you see a video about a cream, buy that, if you feel like that will work, I mean, it's you creating it, right? But there might be something like a coconut oil, just put something on that would help with a rash and then affirm it, this works, this is getting better, right? My skin is clear. Instead of focusing on the rash, you focus on what you do want. So you want it, your skin to be smooth and clear. And what else? Is it itchy? So then you want to affirm that your skin feels good and it feels supple and it feels great. So that's where you put your focus and attention, not on the rash, but it's working. It's getting better. It feels better. It is better. My skin is smooth. It, you're going to look, it's not going to be smooth, maybe, right, in the beginning. But you have, to, you're, you have to create, and it's essentially that you're just speaking your life into existence. So speak your life into existence. Some things I also did, I'd close my eyes and I'd visualize what it looks like without, you know, like visualize without the rash. Okay, I did that for my legs with cellulite. I started visualizing, I closed my eyes, I visualized what my legs look like without it. Okay, and I removed, I mean, for me, my, my legs look smoother. So I was affirming that my legs are smooth and strong and my body is powerful. So I also have been affirming for years that I have a powerful body, which we all do. Our bodies are miraculous. Cause you know, if you get a cut, what's gonna happen? Your body is going to heal itself. Your body has the power to heal itself. So start with those beliefs, okay? My body has the power to heal itself. I'm happy, vital, and strong. My cells know exactly what to do. My cells know what to do to, uh, to heal itself. My body heals itself. My, my, my cells are regenerating. As I go to sleep, my cells regenerate into new cells. My body is powerful. I talk to my body, okay? So talk to your body. This works for everything. This works for any change in your body. You talk to yourself, you talk to your body, okay? I you talk to the rash, I love how you just go away. I love that my rash just went away. Thank you, right? Gratitude, appreciation, thankfulness, those are living in the end, so those are powerful. And then the next question, any tips for weight loss? Exactly what I was saying. What you're going to say with weight loss is, I love that my body is the perfect weight. I love that I, so here's something that I find really powerful. Just start with saying, I have the body of a goddess. Okay, so, so start with that self-love and self-appreciation or, or a god, like, you know, de depending on, do you identify with a goddess or a god? You know, I have the body of a god. I have the body of a goddess, okay? So you're, you're feeling good in your body. Because by the way, as you affirm, I have the body of a goddess, You'll have reflections. People will be like, oh, you kind of look like a goddess today. That will be a reflection. You know, it's like smoke and mirrors. The, the world is like a, is just an illusion. <laughs> okay, so you're going to affirm the end of what you want. In the end of having weight loss, how would you feel? What would you be saying to yourself? You'd be saying, I love my body. I love how I feel in my body. I love how my clothes fit. I love that, that I, it's, it was easy for me to lose the weight. Those are affirmations you say, okay? But then don't go look in the mirror and go, oh, it didn't happen, I didn't lose the weight. Just look in the mirror and go, damn, looking like a goddess today, looking so good today. Hype yourself up because your body will reflect to where, what, where you're, what, how you're speaking to it, how you're speaking to her or him. Yeah, I gotta go, you guys. I love you all. If you need additional help, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you wanna level up, join my VIP group. It's a powerful group. I give away a lot of great information there. It's a community for inspiration and motivation and reminding you that you're the operant power, that everything's yourself pushed out, okay? So we do need that mental discipline and that's why I created that group in the community to have the mental discipline to remind you everything and everyone is yourself pushed out. So if you wanna level up, join my VIP group. You can join that group for, for free for three days if you want. The link is in my bio. I love you all, have an amazing day, bye.